Hi, I want to tell you about this piece I'm working on. It's a commission for a client friend of mine. It's a geocentric model of the universe. A geocentric model of the universe is where the Earth is at the center of the universe and the planets and the sun revolve around the Earth. I thought about this piece for a long time and figuring the piece is going to hang on the wall, it's going to be operated by a crank, it can't be too big. Um, so I thought about different ways to do it and what I came up with is a, a way basically to have the rings of the model cut with a laser. Uh, I've never worked with a laser before, I've never done anything that way, everything's been done by hand. But with a laser, and especially the gears that are going to make the rings go around, every single tooth of the gear has to be perfect. Um, and I wasn't, I didn't really feel confident enough that I was going to do that all by hand. Uh, I hate cutting gears. I hate cutting teeth on gears, and you mess one up. I'm, I'm a woodworker, so I, 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 I would make it out of wood, but just I can't even imagine doing it out of wood. But a laser is a perfect, perfect choice because everything can be perfectly cut uh, again and again. Each teeth can be exactly the same as it needs to be. And the circles, especially the circles, because they're interlocking circles, they can, they can um, be, you basically use the cut of the laser as the tolerance in between the parts that move, that move and the parts that doesn't move. I want to show you a few pictures of the laser cut parts that I got back. Um, they all look good. Uh, again, I've never worked with a uh, laser cutter before and um, it's interesting the smell you get from but uh, I'm used to it and I like it. But the pieces looked great. Um, everything f fit together so well. Um, working with all these pieces, um, I can really tell that the, the tolerances are there and this, this is pretty much the only way to do this. I want to show you the drawings that I did figuring this out. I, I figured the piece would be uh, about 28 by 28 inches square. Uh, I wanted to do a full size drawing um, and figuring out all the parts and all the measurements because I, I had to take the exact measurements and give them to the, the laser people to, to generate the digital image. This is the prototype I made to make sure this was all going to work. Um, I mocked up one of the rings, the retainer rings. Um, these represents the brass bars that's going to hold everything together. Um, this is the gear ring and this pulley goes to the center of the whole piece so basically shows how it it's going to move around. Hi guys, I wanted to show you where I'm at on my geocentric model. Um, I just finished up gluing up the last bit of the basically retainer rings and gears. Everything has two layers. The back layer basically holds the ring, keeps it from falling backwards. Um, these brass rods hold everything in place. Um, the gears here, of course, they're going to have a gear in each each ring. This is basically a ring. It's two left, two pieces also. Basically, the second layer is to beef it up and keep them rigid. Um, these brass pieces will have to be unscrewed all here and pulled out in order to get the rings in. But that's what holds them from falling in or falling out. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I need to figure out the the small gear that's going to operate to make the ring spin. So, Okay, so I've unscrewed this section, that section, which will leave that ring with the gears on. Take that away. This basically shows you how each gear, each ring, will be supported by this little lip and that inside gear area. Just like that, each one, seven rings, uh, and this will spin like that. And the, the, the gear on the back will engage those teeth. There will be a pulley, a center pulley, and there will be a, a, a gear and a pulley on each ring, which will let it 
revolve like that, hopefully. So, so this demonstrates how this is going to work. Going to be a small gear here, pulley to the center. Basically, do that. So the other day I used this thin cyanoacrylate glue and basically saturated every single tooth uh, to make it as hard as possible. Um, I take every step and every measure to make sure my pieces are going to last as long as they can. Here are a couple shots to show how I made the smaller gear pulley assembly. Um, the small gears were laser cut with the same wood and I made small um, brass pieces that had to be different lengths. Um, I made the turn the pulleys on a lathe and added support pieces. Um, these are the axles that are glued into the each ring. Um, this shows how they are all going to be stacked together. The outer one has to be higher because of how the pulleys have to clear each other. Um, the belts on the pulleys, I guess I should say. So that gives you an idea where I'm at. I'm, I would say about 80%, 90% finished with the piece. I still have to paint it. I still have to antique uh, the brass parts. Um, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. It's very exciting. I can't wait to get all the, the um, belts and the pulleys and see how that works. Uh, I think it's going to have a really interesting movement to it. Uh, I think the client's going to be very happy. So um, I'm going to make a follow-up video. Um, after this one, that's probably going to show the finished piece, uh, some of the other um, in-progress pictures and, and video. And um, thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to be making more and more videos as I go along. Thanks.